The storm made the nighttime journey from Neapool to Pakra a daunting one. Flashes of lightning right before our eyes, strong winds, and heavy rain, plus the car broke down in the middle of the road. The driver dropped me at Lakeside Pakra in heavy rain. I took a taxi to Sumi's house, all drenched. The next day, I went with Sumi to her father's shop. The Capra Handicraft in Lakeside Pakara. I was interested in some photos hanging on the wall. It was the photo when Mr. Ghulam's father was awarded by Indira Gandhi as the best carpet maker in India. Their family has been making handmade rugs for generations. Mr. Ghulam also received an award as a guide for UK botanist Chris Chadwell. He guides Chris to research plants in the Kashmir Himalaya region. Chris also made handwritten testimonials that Mr. Ghulam is a trustworthy and honest man. He recommended Mr. Ghulam to other foreigners who need a guide. Mr. Ghulam showed me a book, The Veil of Kashmir. Someone who was guided by Mr. Ghulam in Europe sent the book as a gift. While waiting for customers, I also saw Kashmir's old photos and learned about carpets, Kashmir scarves, and other items in the shop. These items are handmade by artisans in Kashmir. The patterns and designs are diverse and beautiful. They are wallets, bags, pashmina, scarves, and carpets. Mr. Ghulam said that Kashmiri pashmina is expensive because made from the best part of Himalayan goats and sheep's hair. Every six months, these sheep and goats are brought down by the Kashmiri gypsies and sold as materials for making pashmina. Handmade carpets can take a year, even if done by four people, and can last up to 100 years. Passed by between generations. The next day, a traveler from Malaysia stopped by the shop. Then, two travelers from the UK, Lydia and Sophie, also came. Mr. Ghulam invites them all to stay at his house. So we gathered at Mr. Ghulam's house, with Sumi. We shared experiences, shopped at Halal Meat Shop, cooked, and cleaned the house together. We also tried to help Mr. Ghulam in the shop and sell things in the shop online. The meeting in Nepal was very memorable. It was the beginning of our friendship. Lydia returns to the UK, and Sophie volunteers for education in Mexico. A year later, Nirani and I visited Mr. Ghulam in Kashmir. We also met several times in Indonesia. Starting from the Capra shop in Nepal, we continued our friendship.